This is a video about joint distributions, conditional distributions, and marginal distributions. So in this case, there are 10 animals laid out here. Uh, there are two mostly white birds. There are two mostly white non-birds. There are two uh, predominantly brown birds and then four predominantly brown non-birds. So we can think of bird as a binary variable. Think of that as the x variable. So these over here have x equal to 1, indicating that they're birds. These have x equals 0, because they are not birds. And then we could have another variable y that's also binary that's equal to 1 if the animal is predominantly brown. So these animals would all have y equal to 1 and these would have y equals 0. So I've arranged them here into these four cells, right? So um, up here x equals 0, not bird, and y equals 0, not predominantly brown. Here, uh, x equals 0, not bird, y equals 1, predominantly brown. And then here, x equals 1 for both of these, but y equals 1 here, and y equals 0 here. So this sort of shows the joint distribution, um, and just to develop intuition, there's just a finite number here um, rather than a probability distribution, although you could imagine this, these sort of represent population probabilities. So the joint distribution would say, for example, the probability of a uh, predominantly non-white bird is 2 out of 10, or 20%. There's sort of 20% probability for this group, 20%, 20%, and then 40%, here's 4 out of 10. Uh, so in other words, up here would be the probability that x equals 1 and y equals 0. Down here, the probability that x equals 0 and y equals 1, and so on for all the four possible combinations of x and y. For the marginal distribution of y, which is the color, we would just ignore whether the animal is a bird or not, and only look at color. So we would just sort of separate the animals into predominantly brown and predominantly not brown, or I guess not predominantly brown. And we would see there are six predominantly brown animals and four that are not. So the marginal distribution of y uh, has a 60% probability of value 1 and 40% uh, probability that y equals 0. We could also do the same thing with the x variable. Look at the marginal distribution of x. So you can see here there's four birds and six non-birds, um, so the marginal distribution of x has 40% probability of bird and 60% probability of not bird. So that covers joint and marginal. Now finally, the conditional distribution. We could first condition on x equals 1. Now what that would mean is we're sort of zooming in on the bird subpopulation over here and we'll completely ignore the animals that are not birds, the ones with x equals 0. So conditional on x equals 1, we just completely ignore the ones over here and we would say, okay, of this x equals 1 subpopulation, we can see half are predominantly brown and half are not 
So conditional on x equals 1, the probability that y equals 1 is 1 half. That's the conditional distribution of y given x equals 1. Uh, alternatively, if we condition on x equals 0, then we completely ignore the birds, and we only look at the non-birds. So we would just cover these up and say, okay, among this non-bird subpopulation, where x equals 0, what's the probability that y equals 1? Well, there's 4 brown ones and 2 white ones, so that would be 4 out of 6, or 2 thirds. So the probability that y equals 1, conditional on x equals 0, is 2 thirds or equivalently, the probability that y equals 0 conditional on x equals 0 is one-third. That is the probability of not being predominantly brown conditional on not being a bird is one-third. So hopefully that helps distinguish among joint, marginal, and conditional distributions.